I'm sure, like me, you're also sick and tired of hearing about the Northern Ireland Protocol negotiations without actually getting anywhere. We've got the UK government keep saying that we want to, we are going to terminate this part of the Brexit deal. Nothing happens. We've got the European Commission and its uh, vice uh, president of the European Commission keep coming and blaming us for everything that they've caused. Now we've had Lord Frost, who's no longer with the government because he, he resigned because Boris Johnson's cabinet went slightly too far to the left over the green issues, lockdown policies, and the way they've been handling many other things. Yeah, I'm going to show you the video of uh, Shevkovich, the vice president of the commission, and the way Lord Frost completely destroyed him. We in the European Union, we never work with threats. We never work with blackmail. We try to work with a constructive engagement. And this is what I'm pleading for. I'm appealing again through you, through Ms. Minister Ellis, Start negotiate with us because I think what we hear from the UK side is that whatever we bring to the table, not good enough. We just got the rejection of the offers uh, which we are bringing uh, to the table. We didn't. Oh, okay. So it's the UK's fault. We're not negotiating. As Frost himself said, this video shows, and as uh, what sadly apparent while I was a minister, that the EU simply has not engaged with or taken seriously the UK. Position now he follows uh, with the with the tweets uh, a series of tweets saying that it is not true that there have been no UK proposals in July we proposed a renegotiated protocol even before that we made proposals for a trusted trader scheme and in many other agreements that they've already had but nothing actually happened from uh, the EU side he also says that the EU also has a full revised legal text from us and like this is last autumn based on the command paper, but Shevkovich never mentions it. So maybe he's, he's going, he maybe forgot about it, according to David Frost. He says that Shevkovich says that, the, uh, that Northern Ireland access to a single market, which is basically a de facto membership of a single market uh, for goods, is being threatened. That, again, as Frost says, the EU never seems to have understood that at least under this government, the UK has never wanted that they never wanted de facto membership of the single market so threatening its loss is unlikely to cut much ice yeah so the eu are going around saying that oh well the, the way the uk are behaving is that the de facto membership or access to single market for northern ireland will be threatened good we don't want access to single market this is your thing not our thing it's your responsibility to protect your own so-called single market it's not our job to save it for you now, finally, it says the Northern Ireland is in the single market for goods because the EU insisted on it. They claim that the only way to keep the border open was to have the same laws on both sides of it and use this to close off discussion of any alternatives. It's keep going back and forth. I'm sick and tired of it. And actually, to be fair, the fact that Frost is no longer inside the tent, the main team, it's not really helping because, yeah, he, he didn't really fix anything completely at the end, right? We know that. But he achieved enough. He, he was doing much more than the current team. And there is still hope. If Liz Truss is serious, I know we've been saying it for like, well, two years now. If she is serious about terminating and suspending the Northern Ireland Protocol within the next week or so, that's what she says, then it will be a good start. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to come back with a couple of more updates for you guys today, Sunday, the 15th of May. And we have a big, big update as well tomorrow on the World Health Organization and the plot to centralize the whole world and make us essentially a puppet of China.